<laughs> Dramatic movements. Are you Mortal Kombat? Finish him. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I want to show you a little bit of a behind the scenes, kind of how we're setting things up. So here we have Robin, who's just putting a GoPro onto an overhead rig. That way we can have like these top down shots because it's just us in the studio today. So we need to kind of set things up like this camera, for example, just on this tripod, it'll film the front angle as we're in the kitchen. And then over here, we've got another tripod. So sometimes we might move the camera over here. And then of course, there's the camera we're filming with now. That's just gonna capture us doing, doing, doing things. I think we're good. We're good. Take one. <laughs> Go for it. Hey guys, how are you doing? How we're, are you doing? We're back. We're back at it. It's been too long. Somehow I managed to get this guy to come join. Hey, look. Guest, guest appearance. It's Robin. One time thing. Appearance. Appearance. <laughs> Sorry, my English is not so great. Your English is great. Seriously? Maybe when there's a couple of nerves in there. A little bit of There's a couple of a couple nerves of nerve, in there. <laughs> Anywho, we are gonna be making a breakfast brunch, breakfast brunch. Elaborate breakfast that we like to make on the weekend sometimes. It is so good. And especially one component of it, which is like Robin's specialty, which is- um, Vegan egg salad. Egg salad, and you make it using- Tofu. And it's really good. Like I've had tofu scrambles before, and. They're okay, but this one's gonna blow you away. And there's other little components that we'll make too, so we'll walk you through that as well. Um, and then we also wanted to like sit down and chat with you guys at the end of today's video and just update you on what we've been up to the last couple months in case you're interested, so you can stick around for that. But for now, we kind of want to just dive into making some brunch. Um, so we actually already have the potatoes in the oven. I'll walk you through how I made it. We just chopped up um, a whole bunch of potatoes into little bite-sized pieces. We drizzled over top some oil and then we added some spices to it. I usually like to add onion powder, some paprika powder, um, a little bit of rosemary. rosemary, some dry rosemary, some salt and pepper, and then just toss everything together with your hands, pop it in the, 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 oven, the oven, in the oven, and then just bake it until it's nice and crispy. It takes like 40 minutes or so, but like, if you want like the actual amounts of everything, I'll um, write it up and I'll put it on the blog. So I'll leave that link for you in the description box. But now let's make Robin's um, Vegan egg salad. Vegan egg salad. And he never writes anything down, like um, you just go based on taste when you add things. You don't measure is what I mean to say. Yeah. So I'm gonna write it all down now for the first time, so that way I have the recipe, and then I can put it on the blog and share it with you guys. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into let's it. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna start by putting a pan on the stove. Okay. Just put a little bit of oil in it. Here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the tofu and I'm just gonna get in there with my hands. I just wanna crumble this tofu. I don't want the pieces to be too uh, small. So just. Ooh, that sound. Squash it a little bit. So you've got two blocks of tofu. Yeah, I got two blocks here. Oh, I love that sound. I, I for one, sound. actually really enjoy that. The smell of fresh tofu, it's so good. The smell? The smell, yeah, the smell. Uh, I don't share your... No? No. Nope. No, I, I, I like it. I think that's good. I'm just gonna put this in. Okay, so now you've added in the tofu. It's on high, how long do we cook it for? Uh, about five minutes, I think. Okay. Yeah. So you want it to get crispy? No, I don't want it to get crispy. Toss it and turn it, toss and turn. Uh, don't want it to fry up on the bottom, so that's why we're tossing it a lot. Uh, just want the, voice, the, the moisture to evaporate <laughs> and get it chewy. 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 <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah, pretty sure about it. Oh my God, I'm a disaster. I'm a disaster. <laughs> So now it's ready. I'm gonna add a little bit of spices to this. Some turmeric, some salt, and some pepper. So put this turmeric in here. I just like to add it for color, but um, Sadia, when we just met, she told me 
that there's so many, there's so much good stuff in spices that if you invest and you just get a whole bunch of spices and you put it in your food, it's actually, you're investing in your own health. Just put a little bit of spices in there. They're like little supplements. Supplements, all these antioxidants and all that kind of good stuff. I'm no expert, I just like to put it in for color. I'll take it over to my workstation. And now I need to put it in a bowl. What should I use? What do you want? Can you help me? Can I do it in something like this, like a deep dish? Is this okay? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Looks great. Okay, so <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta write all these down. So we have, okay, what have we done? We've added two blocks of tofu. Two blocks of tofu. Yeah. And then now. Now we're gonna add some curry powder. And I think I would like to add about a teaspoon of that. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's your recipe, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, needs, it needs a fair amount. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Look at you leveling it off like a little professional. Learn it from the best. <laughs> and so now you add some mayo. Yes, very important. And you don't even really need the egg in traditional mayo, but whoever invented vegan mayo, it is so good. That's really good. And then now I can chop up some, you always put like green onion, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you guys like a little tip. Can you actually pass me that? So when we buy green onion um, at the store, we put it in a glass container, jar, whatever, with some water, and then it keeps really, really long. So this is a nice way to store it. But sometimes if you keep it in there for like longer still, you can see that it, it's somehow like, it continues to grow. So we bought it originally like this, and then it grows even taller. It's so cool. Anyway, bottom part, wait, am I right with this? You put the bottom part and in you there. mix it in? Yeah. In so the, the white part, mm -hmm. like so. And then the rest you use for garnish. Yeah. Okay. Okay, taste testing time. Mmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really good though. Mmm, mmm, mmm. A little bit of coffee? Mmm. <laughs> Good combination. Delicious. Okay, should we check on the potatoes? Yeah. This is about, yeah, halfway to being cooked. Probably like 20 minutes or so left. And so I'm just gonna add some tomatoes. You can always add any kind of veggies that you have, like bell pepper, carrots, but I'm just gonna add all these tomatoes straight on here. And then we're gonna pop it in the oven again, and those are gonna bake, which is gonna be really nice. So for the last component, Sadi's specialty. Spinach. My specialty? Yeah. <laughs> like I don't think I get enough greens most days. Really, I don't. But this is just like, this is a ridiculous amount of spinach. But once you cook it, you'll see that it boils down to be like this much and then it's so easy to eat and enjoy. So yeah, this is probably, probably like just one of my go-to ways of making sure we get our greens sometimes. Although I still think there's room for improvement. But yeah, it's really easy. All you do is, um, I just prepare some garlic. You can either thinly slice it, you can crush it. Do you want to explain that for a second? What? The way that you just took your aggression out on the garlic cloves? Um, yeah, you just do it so that the little skin comes off. Maybe I'm a little bit too aggressive though. Look, there, it even got squashed. How many, did you count how many cloves of garlic that was? Um, I think that was five or four. For this much spinach, I feel like we might need a little bit more. Yeah? Yeah, like one or two more. I like it really garlicky. Um, Me too. Yeah. I feel like the recipes where it says like one or two pieces of garlic, we're always like, oh, okay, four or five then? Yeah, okay. And I love how I said just one more piece of garlic and now you're adding four. <laughs> What's one piece? Yeah, you just said it yourself. Yeah, but like, okay. So now this is essentially like seven or eight cloves of garlic. That might be a lot. Okay. I'll let that get a little hot first. I think we're good. I'm gonna add the garlic. I'm just gonna put it back into the same pan that we cooked the tofu in, so no need to get another pan dirty. And then you just cook it for a few minutes. Let it get golden, and once it is, then you add a 
whole heaping like just mountain pile of spinach to the pan. Cook it for another minute or two and then you'll see it start to soften. And then that's pretty much it. You can just enjoy the spinach like that. Or if you'd like, you can always add a little bit of seasoning of some kind. Robin adds soy sauce and sambal to everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> that's the food of my people. Is it? Wait, 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 you're doing it again. How much? Oh. You gotta measure it out. Do I have to choose between these two? There's, here, this is the, that's a that's teaspoon. Better. That's better. So we're adding a teaspoon of sambal. How much soy sauce then? One tablespoon. So it's still a little saucy, but I kind of like that about it. We'll just transfer it over to a bowl. So you can see how much the spinach has reduced in volume. It's all we're left with. Oh, look at all those garlic pieces though. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this to the side because I think our potatoes are done. Oh my God. <laughs> look at this. Look at how crispy these potatoes look. The tomatoes are like perfectly blistered. We'll taste this. Oh, finish. This looks amazing. It looks really good, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. It's really good. When you make videos of trying food, it's a very fine line between like, oh my God, this is amazing. You guys should try it. It's the best thing you're ever gonna have. And also just being like, it's really good. It's, it's baked potatoes with some spices. And also you've been filming for a long time usually. And when you finally get to taste the food, it's like, you're hungry. Give it to me. Give it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. And now you have to wait a little bit longer because I still have to take pictures of it. Photos, yeah. But that way you'll have pretty pictures of it all for the blog. So let's do that quickly so that we can eat, yeah? I found Finally. So there you go, a new breakfast recipe. This is one that we make, I think we already said it, right? We make it like once a week. Oh, sorry. Once a month, maybe. <laughs> once a month. Mm. Honestly, brunch was the most genius invention ever. It's, it's breakfast for people who sleep in. It's really, really, really good. 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10. 15 no, no, out no, no, of 10. No. That's just your Canadianism. It's so good. It's it's good. It's so good. So quiet. There's no one here. Do you guys have poisonous mushrooms in the Netherlands? Probably. So I shouldn't touch it? Uh, no. Also, you don't want to disturb the leprechauns that are living in there. I don't know what it is about seeing little clusters of mushrooms that makes me so happy. It's so cute. Can I ask you a question? Yes. They said it wasn't supposed to rain. <laughs> Why did it rain? It's unpredictable. Do you think they'll hear that it's like raining? 
A little bit. So time for a little update to share with you what we've been up to for the last couple of months. So yeah, essentially I had recognized that I needed a little bit of a break from posting because we had been posting for three and a half years straight. And when I am in the process of making videos, I get like tunnel vision and everything else just... Does not get priority. Yet. No, not at all. And so there's been a few like, um, passion projects and also related to pickup lines that I've just wanted to take on for quite a while and it's not a cafe or a cookbook sorry guys I know that was like a huge yeah or a I baby guess. or a baby nope sorry nope none of those things um but some other pro passion projects that we've really wanted to pick up and yeah anyway so Robin finished his PhD and I kind of like that overlapped with all of these thoughts I was having of like taking a break and he was like you know what if not now then when and I was like you're right and then also what we were talking about a lot was like, what is our mission with Pickup Limes? And we have always felt like our mission is to make a nourishing plant-based lifestyle as accessible to everyone as possible. Like, and a lot of it comes down to accessibility for us in, in, in the things that we share is our website. Cause that's where we share our articles and our recipes and-, and, and Yeah, I mean, we already have a website, but we just felt like it could use a little bit of an overhaul, like a revamp. Yeah. And it kind of also happens that I am quite interested in learning more about web development. So about six months ago, I decided, why don't I just have a go at it? And ever so, since I've been coding away at a new web platform. So he's essentially joined Pickup Limes for the last six months and we haven't shared it with you guys because I think for you, you wanted to like get it off the ground a little bit more. Yeah, I wanted to see if it's something I could do before saying it. And feeling a bit more confident, but it's coming along so well. Oh my God, like I am I'm so excited. But yeah, essentially it won't be ready still for like another couple of months. Bit, yeah. It's taking a lot of our love and energy and but it's gonna be so good. If there's any requests, things that you'd like to see, um, share that in the comments, cause Robin's becoming a whiz. Uh, he's like hard coding everything. It is so impressive. It is so, so cool. So anyway, I'm not used to vlogging. This is getting very heavy. <laughs> so I think it's also time to sign off. Yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for um, making brunch with us. And it's really nice to be back. We've missed you guys. We'll be back to our um, kind of posting regularly now amidst continuing to build the site and sharing it with you when it's ready and we'll share more updates then too so i think that's it that's it anything else no nope. <laughs> do you want to do the sign off um pick up lime signing off and see you in the next video bye tell me something the viewers don't know tell the viewers something they don't know yeah uh, I broke my elbow a few months ago. I never told you guys. So I'm a little bit embarrassed about it. Like I literally went from the top of the stairs to the bottom of the stairs. I didn't hit any of the stairs on the way down. So I just like catapulted down and had a phone in one hand, laptop in another. So and that's so why you couldn't grab that's why onto I something. I couldn't grab onto something or brace my fall. So I just landed on my elbow. There you go, that's something they didn't know about me. This is a fun game, your turn. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Do you want to show them how you're really good at doing the little like... No, 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 no. Why? Uh, because, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, okay, ready? No. Michael Jackson. No, Jack Maxson. <laughs> so he's really good at doing that. He'll take like the first letter from the first word and the second letter from the second word and swap them. Which of course anyone can do, but I feel like it requires like some thinking and he just does it so freaking fast. Okay, come on, no, one more, one more. Um, I'm not doing it again. Yeah, 